my brother and I were children, my mother used to send us to Nottingham on Saturdays um, to, for elocution lessons so that we spoke not like her, uh, but more like my father. I'm afraid it didn't work, as you could probably hear. I still have an East Midlands accent. Um, but one of the things we did do, and that's probably why I still have, is because we skived off a lot of the time when we were there and didn't go to do How Now, Brown Cow, and read the diary of nobody, and things like that. We went off to the films. And one of the films we went to see which most memorable was called The Girl Can't Help It. And uh, it was playing at the arse end of Nottingham, the St Answell district. I think it was the Cavendish Cinema. It's been not long knocked down. Uh, and it had lots of rock and roll stars in it, like Fats Domino, uh, Eddie Cochran, Gene Vincent. And it also had uh, uh, Jane Mansfield with two huge boobs, we remember. But the thing we remember more than that was a singer who knocked spots off all the others. And uh, he was the, the father of rock and roll. He more or less invented it, if anybody did. And his name was Little Richard. Uh, Little Richard was the rocker's rocker to such an extent that uh, not only he was worshipped to, to the extent that uh, uh, somebody called Harry Webb uh, changed his name in his honour to Cliff Richard. And I'm now going to play my favourite uh, Little Richard one. I'll try. Forgive me. It's not easy to do. And I haven't done this for 40 years.